I've got some questions for you. Do you know what a pre-shot routine is? Do you have one? If you've got one, do you practice it? And finally, once you've got the whole pre-shot routine, do you practice the process? Now, if you're answering no to most of those, I can really benefit the way you can go out and play golf. And that is, you need to have a pre-shot routine. The reason you have a pre-shot routine is because we want to become consistent. Every golfer I talk to, no matter what level, they strive for consistency. If only I could do this every time. If only I could hit that shot every time. The way to get that more consistent play is to get a pre-shot routine. So let me show you how you get a pre-shot routine. What we're trying to do is do exactly the same before every single shot. So you'll watch guys on telly, they're pretty good at this because they've obviously practiced a lot. So what we're doing is when I go through my pre-shot routine, I'm stood in a direct line behind the ball to my target. In this case, it's the flag. So I can see a channel going straight down that line, almost as if the mower or the greenkeeper has driven straight down that line for me. So number one, I can really picture exactly where I want the ball to go. The next thing is, I'm going to practice doing exactly the same things. So the distance that I'm stood behind here now is going to be three paces to the ball. So when I walk into the shot, I've got one, two, three, now I'm into the ball. So I stand the same distance behind it every time. That's consistent. The next thing that I do is I visualize the shot that I actually want to hit from back here. So I'm doing that every time. So I've stood behind the ball. I'm now visualizing exactly the shot that I want to play. Then from there, I'm going to take the grip of the club. I see so many players get in behind the ball here and start fidgeting around with the grip. They don't know what they're doing. They're so into this. Are they stood right? And then by the time they come to hit the shot, they've got no idea where they're aiming. They've got no idea what sort of shot they want to play. And they go ahead and go, and they're surprised when it goes into trouble. So I like players to take the grip back here. Get that out of the way. So once you grip, put the club on the floor, grip it, and then that's done. Keep that grip nice and soft, that's a big key. Now, from here, we're ready to go ahead and visualize that shot, so I can see the shot. Now, as I walk into the ball, I want to be strong and tall. I want to feel as if I'm the best player in the world, or I'm top of the money list, or I'm the best player at the golf club. Get these feelings running through your brain and through your whole body. Then I'm going to set up and make sure that I'm in a good line. Now, that channel that I looked at earlier, where the mower had gone down, I walk in on that line, so I know my lines are going to be very good. If I set up in a good position, I'm taking care of a lot of what I need to do to go in ahead and hit a good golf shot. If I'm even over here, I can put the greatest golf swing on it, but it's not going to go close to the flag. So make sure you're aiming the club correctly. So let's go back again. So as we walk in, we're going to be super confident. Now once we set up, even though I'm looking at the ball, I can still see the flag in my mind eye. And that's really key. I'm not thinking too much about the ball. I'm not thinking about mechanics when I'm out on the course. I might have one swing thought, which is keep it low and slow. But other than that, I'm focused very much on the pin. So I can still see the pin, even though I'm not looking at it. Then from there, I'd go ahead and have one more look at the flag, down to the ball. Now, without hesitation, I'd go ahead and pull the trigger and hit the shot. I don't like to see players having too many waggles or doing too much around the ball. Keep it clean. That's what I talk to players about, keeping it clean. Why put in extra movements that are not beneficial? Keep it clean. So let me go through the whole process and hit a shot. I'm focused behind the ball here. You can see I'm stood very strong. I'm not sort of like stood like this. I'm stood very strong here. I then grip the golf club. Keep it soft. Now I walk in. Put the club in behind the ball and line it up to the flag. Then I take my stance, one more look at the flag, and I go. Hold my finish. Now there's a pre-shot routine that you can go ahead and work on. You do something like that, you can trust it when you really need it, and that's what it's all about. It's being able to trust it. So go ahead, follow the exact steps that I've said, or work on your own, but make sure you do the same thing every time, because golf is all about consistency.